Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Friends, from today we are going to start our first exercise in which we will analyze a simple beam using Midas Gen. Here is the problem statement. Analyze a simple uh, supported RC beam having size of 300 by 650 mm and span length of 5 meter. Take the loadings as shown. The dead load is to be 2 kN per meter. Live load is to be 4 kN per meter. Compressive strength of concrete is 28 MPa and FY over steel reinforcement is 414 MPa. From this exercise, we will learn some very basic tools of the software. So, let's go to the software screen. By starting Madazian software, this is the first look of the software. So, we are now starting our model. Click the new button. Okay. So there are different methods for uh, modeling a structure. So there are two types of grids the point grid and the line grid. So we are using today the point grids. You can see that the cursor is now locking at each and every point here. So, but what is the length between these two points? So we don't know. So just uh, off these point grids and now go to the structure grids and define point grids where we can define the grids. We are, we are working in the unit system having the force unit of kilonewton and the displacement units of meter. So will choose 1,1 1, 1 meter, 1 in x and 1 in y, alright. So click OK. So each point is now 1 meter away from the other. So to look into the top view, just click the button top here. Now we'll have to model a 5 meter beam. So to create a model, to create a beam, just go to the node tab and create elements tab and click anywhere. Now it will display the distance between the nodes. So 5 meter here. Okay, click press escape button and then turn off the grids from view tab. So this is our beam. Okay. Now there is only a null line. So to give the property, just go to the property tab, add materials, and add a concrete of ASTM standards, ASTM RC, choosing the Grade C4000. C4000 means the compressive strength having 4000 psi, equivalent to 28 MPa. Just click OK and then close. Now click on the section properties and then add. So choose uh, solid rectangle and to click on the user and give the dimension as uh, our beam is having the dimensions of 300 by 650 so 650 is uh, that's 0.65 meter by 300 okay so we'll have to give the name say beam 300 by Beam, beam 300 by 650. Okay, so it's automatically applied to that beam. Alright, so let's uh, save this. Now, from this button hidden, we can hide the extruded view and we can see the single line view of the structure. Now we will apply the supports. To do so, 
go to the boundary tab define supports and then for this point I want it to become a pin support so for the pin support since it is this beam is modeled in the XZ plane so displacement in X and displacement in Z should be restrained so check those two and this is the select single button and select this particular node by creating a window and just apply for this I want it to be a roller so just check the DX only DZ the vertical restraint so click on this button this is the side view so this is the support we have uh, assigned to that particular node now we will create the load cases to assign the loads go to the load step static load cases and dead add live and just these types are to be selected when we will need to create the load combinations by the software itself add close okay so now we will add the self weight because uh, the self weight is not yet taken by the software until we assign them so just go to the self weight the self weight is acting under the dead load so we will have to select the dead and anti gravitational direction is positive z so we need to have a factor of minus 1 and just add them so the self weight has been added there is no need to select the beam for the self weight or select any structure for the self weight it's automatically being applied now we will add the dead loads and live loads for do that to do that just go to the elements and dead global z these are the relative relative one means zero means the starting and one is ending and for the absolute click absolute now zero means at zero and one means one meter not five meter not the end so we'll choose the relative and plug in the value of minus two because global z direction is in the positive upward direction and then we'll have to select the beam and just click Live. For the live load, just click on live and minus 4 and select the beam and then apply. To check whether the load is correctly been applied on the particular element, just go to the work street menu and then you can see the dead load. Under the dead load, the self load has been applied and one element being just displayed, it's displaying the value. Just display it in the value. Now, since we have modeled this beam in only XZ plane, so we have to tell the software that only do the analysis for XZ plane. So go to the structure tab, type structure type, and choose the XZ plane and click OK. Now go to the analysis tab and perform the analysis. Since the analysis has been performed, you can see the manage your Mada. Uh, you can see the message window below. Your Mada's job is successfully completed. So <coughs> now you can we can see the results. First, we can create the load combinations to check the result at load combinations. Just go to the concrete side design tab and just click the auto generation choose the, the appropriate code you want let's say we use ACI 31808 concrete ok so two strength and two service load combinations have been created by the software automatically just close the tab and then click reactions reaction and click on the dead first click apply these are the two reactions but we can't see the value. We can 
further right click here and see the free menu two you can see the two free menu simultaneously now under the working tab let's undisplay the loads now click on the value and apply so it will now showing me the values of the support reaction under the dead load under the live loads under the combinations we want say 1.2 1.6 1.2 dead 1.6 live x z all the components but we know that all we have applied the vertical loads only so the vertical reactions only being generated by these two supports because it's a simple beam for fx there is no reaction for fy there is no reaction in any kind of moment there is no reaction right now click on the deformation then show the deformed shape under let's say that load all the deformation d x y z and click on apply now it is showing zero and zero for the nodes only to show the real deformation of the beam just click on the three dots and click on the real deformation and apply ok so this is the real deformation click on the undeformed so it will show the undeformed shape as well to show the displacement contours we can either choose from here or we can choose from here displacement contours apply so this is the contours type so to show the legends just click on the legends it will show the legends here it is in the exponential form just click on the three dots and fixed up to the three decimal places now you can see the displacements here but uh, the three decimal places are so very very large to this let's say six so now these are the displacement for the dead loads the live loads and so and so forth for the service loads like this one okay so for now for the forces beam forces and moments these are the beam forces let's say under the second load combinations m1 this is the value but it is only showing the force value but not showing the diagrams to show the diagrams just click on the beam diagrams and m y let me show you the sign conventions for these directions just go to the notes and elements tab now just go to the properties section properties and just click on the modifier so you can see that uh, for the cross section the horizontal axis is y and the vertical axis is z so for the loading which have been applied by us on this beam the only moment generated in the beam about this y axis so about and y all right and the shear force generated is along the z axis so fx so for this my now it is showing the value you can see any unit like in kips or in pounds or in tons whatever you want <clears throat> meters and millimeters whatever you want right okay similarly fz means the shear force this is a shear force diagram you can solid fill it and uh, okay so yes you can also all values apply because this is absolute max it is showing here but it is zero so you can just click on the all and click ok so it's third minus 35 and that is right you can see the animations just click on the deform controls and click on apply and deform real deformation all right and then undeformed shape and animate it by taking 
this recorder. It is now showing the animation right with the contours. Okay, so this is up for today. This is the analysis part of this beam. In the next video, we will do the design part for this beam. So, take care.